A box arrived from Amazon last night, and it should contain two books. One of them is a volume from the Ancient Christian Text series published by InterVarsity Press. And the volume that I chose, I haven't seen any of these before. The one that looked most interesting to me was this one at the center of the screen, Commentaries on Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, and Hebrews by St. Cyril of Alexandria. You can see as I scroll up the other volumes that are available. So I'd like to just get the sense for the uh, font size, layout, how these are edited, and whether they're worthwhile. The other book is uh, Peter Lake's On Laudianism. Uh, you may not be familiar with William Laud. He was uh, Archbishop of Canterbury in the 17th century and could be argued that his actions helped provoke the English Civil Wars. Very interested I am in the English church history. So we will look at the box and open it and see what we have. Most of the works that I've read from early Christian writers are in these uh, volumes. This is the Nicene and Post-Nicene Fathers series. The particular edition here I have is the one on the seven ecumenical councils. So um, this new InterVarsity Press series should be interesting since it says that they are printing works that haven't been translated into English before. So open this up and see what we have. back on the knife for safety and uh, bubble wrap. Okay, the first volume here is Peter Lake's On Laudianism. It has a dust jacket. It is about nine and a quarter by six and a quarter in dimensions. We'll look at the font in a minute. And then we have Cyril's commentary on Romans, 1st, 2nd Corinthians, and Hebrews. So Amazon got the order right. That's good. I'll check the dimensions here. About ten and a quarter, so it's a taller volume. And it's about seven and a quarter, so an inch in each dimension wider. It's also quite thin. And compared with the Nicene and post-Nicene Fathers series, it is a taller, much thinner volume. So we'll open this one up first and look at the layout. So we will take a look at this interior, gently opening it. I do intend to break both the volumes and title page. Copyright page, copyright 2022, Thomas C. Oden. Um, printed in the United States of America. There are the contents on the right. Abbreviations used probably in notes or introductions. A general introduction. This is, this is about the series, I suppose. An introduction here by the translator to these particular commentaries. And commentary on the epistle to the Romans, and we have fragments. Let me get my font comparison card over here, and we'll take a look, say, at a capital T. So it's printed in roughly an 11 point font. It's very close to 11. As you can see, that's good. That should be easy on the eyes. Commentary on Romans. Commentary on the Epistle to the Corinthians. It's showing different codices here. There must be some textual variance and 
the text that's being translated. We're in the Hebrews commentary now. And additional fragments at the end, plus a general index, scripture index, and a little word about the series at the very end. The page count in that volume was about 140, and it was fairly heavy paper. This is thinner paper, and it's uh, over 600 pa pages. Cambridge University Press. And contents. Begin with an introduction. Laudianism, where it came from, what it was. Holy ordinances. Laudianism is associated with the phrase, uh, the beauty of holiness, which is taken from one of the Psalms. The Psalm number doesn't uh, appear in my memory bank at the moment. We have acknowledgments, introduction. It'd be kind of interesting to see if there are any illustrations at all here. Sunday sports. So there was a conflict with Puritanism at the time. And uh, that was part of the instigation for the Civil Wars, the Rebellion. Predestination is discussed. anti puritanism To me, this looks like it will be a very interesting and informative read. Let's see what we have in the back. We have a conclusion section. And is there an index? There is a topical index here. Eleven pages. And the back cover bit here about Peter Lake. So with that, I will conclude this unboxing video, and thank you very much for watching.